Welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran. This is my place to talk about weight loss, life, fitness, being amazing, talking to you about making myself amazing, and hopefully helping make you amazing also. So what we're gonna talk about today is something that either makes me an amazing expert or an amazing failure. And what we're gonna talk about is the fact that 18 years ago, I started chronicling my weight loss journey online. I've only been on YouTube for about two or three years, but I have had an online presence with my weight loss journey since 2006, January 5th, 2006. So I just passed my 18 year anniversary of being on social media, doing this live, transparent. I started my website, my blog, as a personal journal to myself. A personal journal saying, okay, I wanna lose weight, this is what I wanna do, this is what I'm going to do, this is where I'm at. And I just wrote a little bit here and there, and admittedly, some of those earlier posts are kinda lame, but I just did it for me. I had no idea somebody was going to find my journal and start reading it. I had no idea 18 years ago I was still going to be writing on that. And I had no clue how many people I would meet and how many lives I would touch through that journal. So as I said at the beginning, I actually started just writing about weight. But as the time went by, I started to realize that weight isn't just this little capsule that's up in the air. Weight encompasses everything. Weight encompasses the divorces, the marriages, the children, the vacations, everything. It encompasses life. When my mom had her stroke and I was traveling to Pittsburgh that day, I didn't eat healthy. I actually ate junk food and I didn't get to the hotel till 10 o'clock at night. And I was so exhausted. I ate junk food out of the vending machines. It's life. It's going to happen. And of course, my weight reflected that. It reflected the stress and it reflected the way I ate that week. Every life event affects everything. Can't be perfect all the time. There are some people that are like, oh, I'm spot on all the time. That's not life. And you're going to have a hard time maintaining that the rest of your life because you need to learn to roll with the punches. So I started to include that into my journal. And I did amazing. And about 10 years ago or a long time ago, I actually contemplated doing a YouTube channel. But at that point, I was going through my divorce and I just didn't want to do it. It wasn't until about three to five years ago that I finally said, let's do this YouTube thing. And here I am. So that brings me to my question. I have been doing this weight loss thing for a long time. A long time, 18 years. I've had incredible successes. I actually lost all of the weight that I needed to lose. That was about 100 50 pounds that I lost. That's amazing. I am a lifetime member at Weight Watchers. A backsliding one at the moment, but I am a lifetime member. I have got the card to prove it. I learned to run and I started running 5Ks and 10Ks over the years. I fell in love with Zumba. I was actually even in the newspaper for Zumba. I did amazing things through that time. There was a lot of successes. There were some failures because look at me, I am back, not where I started, thank heavens, but I'm back where I need to lose about 50 to 70 pounds. So that my friends is one of the failures. But a victory is that I am still here. Over the years, I actually have learned a whole lot of stuff about myself. I've learned a whole lot about my body. I have grown a lot through this 18 years of sharing on social media. One of the things I always swore I would do would be transparent. I don't sugarcoat it. It is what it is. Anyway, I wanted to share my anniversary with you guys. And so here I am sharing my 18 year social media blog anniversary on my YouTube channel. So you tell me, experienced or failure? No excuses.